The premise for 2020, the hotly anticipated sequel to 2019, is simple enough. An aging despot with deteriorating mental health refuses to engage with a global pandemic and overboiling racial tensions, while people around the world are forced to stay home to watch a documentary on big cat game parks. In another director's hands, perhaps it could have worked, but unfortunately, 2020 is a disappointing failure. Firstly, it's difficult to work out what 2020 actually is. A sci-fi, a disaster epic, a political drama, some sort of dark comedy? It's hard to tell. We see bushfires, floods, plagues and dust storms, and that's just in the opening credits. From there, we're pinballed between a global pandemic, an economic crisis, a once-in-a-generation reassessment of racial equality, and an eight-part series on basketballer Michael Jordan. It's as if no one could agree on what to take out, so they just put in everything and hope for the best. Christopher Nolan's Tenant was easier to follow, and that's saying something. There are plot holes and inconsistencies throughout. In one scene, the US president says the pandemic is a hoax. Only minutes later, he claims his country is dealing with it better than any other nation. He then contracts the virus himself. It's simply not believable. There are moments of comic relief. A billionaire inventor names his child after a piece of programming code. A columnist for the Australian newspaper is awarded an Order of Australia for services to men's rights. Good Lord. But these moments of lightness are few and far between. It's only a matter of time before we're back to a new disaster. Another plague outbreak. A pedophile priest freed from prison. Nickelback's first album in more than a decade. In the end, 2020 is simply unsatisfying. Despite all of the turmoil and upheaval, nothing really changes. It's hard to think of a less enjoyable production. What do you think, Margaret? I loved it, David. Really? It was a satire, David. It's not meant to be taken seriously. I mean, didn't you love that scene where the US president suggests everyone drinks bleach? You look pretty serious. It's not meant to be taken literally. Like when the Prince of England announces his retirement when he doesn't even have a job. Brilliant. I'm not sure. Or when the Prime Minister of Australia announces that everybody has to stay at home under all circumstances and then announces three. 184 specific exemptions. I mean, I, that's so droll. I thought that was originally a Monty Python sketch. It was. And what about the leader of North Korea dying four times? It was a metaphor. Or when a woman goes into that hardware store and quotes the United Nations Declaration on Human Rights. I mean, what was that all about? Yeah, I must admit I thought that was deeply odd. But, you know, I loved 2020. I thought it was ridiculous, uh, satirical, vastly entertaining, absolutely hilarious. I thought it was horrible. Oh, I'm giving it five stars. I'm giving it zero.